Hey guys, so uh, I haven't really been working on this deck that much. This is mostly just stuff that was mostly thrown together, so it doesn't make sense, honestly, to me personally. It might make sense to you guys, but I mean, the, the deck in it of itself right now is just okay. It could be better. Like, yeah. It's not, like, that bad, though, by any means. So, primarily right now, a lot of people, of course, have been playing Zombie World by using uh, the punk stuff, so the main idea behind it, of course, is to uh, summon, like, Xiamen somehow. So this is just mostly a bunch of different one-card combos, so if you open uh, Ogre Dance, Foxy Tune, Emergency Teleport, Xiamen, all of these are one card combos, so you do a uh, normal summon like Xiamen, add Foxy Tune, and then uh, Foxy Tune effect, special summon Deer Node, so 3 plus 5 is 8, go Chaos Ruler, and then you use uh, Deer Note effect to summon back Foxy Tune, so then that is uh, level uh, 8 right there, You and 8, so you make the zombie vampire. And you mill 9, essentially, so the Zombie Vampire effect mills 4, Chaos Ruler mills 5, and that, that's the general idea behind that combo. And there's also, like, if you start Foxy, you just go uh, Rising Carp instead, right? So, Special Summon Xiamen, add Sharakusai, normal Sharakusai, you uh, fuse into... Uh, Rising Carp, then you special summon from deck a copy of Xiamen and Deer Note. And th that's essentially just the idea of the combo boiled down. In a nutshell, you're just using uh, these two essentially to go into Deer Note and then uh, into the Zombie Vampire to mill 9. So that is the combo, and not much else to say. And that that's, was the most uh, popular way to play zombie world for quite a while so the issue with this in particular in my opinion is it actually like the development of actual zombie world tech just like fell by the wayside and no one was doing any meaningful like uh looking for meaningful tech and stuff and developing new tech yeah, no one was really doing that everyone was just throwing stuff into their like punk zombie world piles like oh i can uh throw in um uh, sealed so, uh, if I throw in uh, uh, one of these hex sealed, I can use this to uh, special summon Nat Beast or whatever, and and then Naturia Exterio by using hex sealed to replace one of them because we have some Earths in here. So, uh, yeah, in general, it's like. Uh, a lot of commitment on this, so no one has been developing, like, uh, other tech. And I mean, I, I kind of haven't been developing Zombie World tech or looking into it for quite a while as well, but... I mean, I still have a lot of tech that I did experiment with, so today we're just going to, uh, look and see if we can make a decent deck using some Zombie World tech, I guess. So. One of the primary issues about Zombie World, though, if we want to just consider this from a deck building perspective, is everything you want to do, you can't do because you are off by one tempo, if that makes sense. So, if we have just Uni Zombie in our hand, for example, and we want to bring back a guy for the graveyard, doesn't really matter who, so let's say we want to bring back Ozuki, then first off, we we have to like if we want to special summon gozuki we have to do it by sending him to the graveyard okay but if we send gozuki to the graveyard by himself he does nothing straight up nothing so we have to send a mizuki alongside our copy of gozuki so j just for example if we send mizuki and gozuki into the graveyard then we can special summon gozuki so okay now what Gozuki can send one monster to the graveyard, now that we have summoned Gozuki, okay? But, now we're back to the same issue. If we send one card, 
again off of Gozuki. Uh, essentially, we, we, we just send one card. So let's say we send Banshee, that activates Zombie World. But Zombie World by itself isn't going to do us a whole lot. And also, uh, in this case, Uni Zombie is probably level um, 5. And Gozuki is level 4. And we have no Synchro 9s to make whatsoever. There's not like a single relevant Synchro 9 to make that even makes rem any remote sense. The best option is just to Shenshen and hope this floodgates your opponent out of their combo, essentially. Unless you want to see me make like... Gotham's, because technically Gotham's is makeable because this is an earth monster. I, I will hand loop for one and then pass on Zombie World. Like, like what? Like literally nothing to make. So the issue here is primarily to do like a thing. You need two cards in the graveyard, but your cards only send one card to the graveyard. You just miss by like a tempo, so play with the thing you want to send with like Banshee is essentially just another monster. Like if we were going with only one monster, it's like Flow Plume or Doom King Ballad Rock would be fine. And then of course we just have Doom King, which is pretty strong. So every single turn, Doom King will essentially negate a monster effect on the field or graveyard and then banish a monster from either the field or graveyard. That is essentially what Doom King does with Zombie World Up. And of course, Doom King is just easy link material because it comes back during the standby phase every single turn. So Doom King, crazy. And he's good. But if you consider like all of these other Zombie World cards and like your extra deck, if we just boil it down to just the Zombie World cards, like just remove like my copies of Dark Reference stuff, just this, this becomes unbelievable torture and the only play you have that you can consistently go for is essentially to send like banshee and then glow up bloom and then what you might do is uh special summon chang chi uh then send mad mauler mad mauler targeting chang chi and then you make immortal dragon using the two so immortal and then with immortal you would uh send a copy of doom king and then pass turn that, that's it and yeah that, that that doesn't really do a whole lot so if you're lucky though you might be able to uh, bring back like a dude so you, you can at least end on one extra deck monster alongside doom king but th there's no like zombie monsters for you to make in this case either and Using Blow Up Bloom sucks because uh, you get zombie locked. So yeah, that that's kind of an issue. So right now, the whole strategy is just crumbled into like dust, is how it feels. Well, whenever they ban Chaos really it will sure feel that way for a lot of people. So essentially, if I have like Mezuki in my hand, and then I have Uni Zombie as well, I can't even make a play. As unbelievable as that sounds. Well, what can I do with just the Uni, Zombie, and Mezuki? So, two card combo? Nothing. There is nothing that exists with these two. I can, like, Shenshin pass. So, unironically, after much experimentation that I've done before, the best end board essentially was to use solitaire which you don't want to do because when you tribute solitaire and then it gets ash you don't even have a body so that that really sucks but if you did have solitaire you can use a uh, solitaire effect one card combo to summon uni zombie uni zombie sending uh mezuki and this would adjust uni zombies level to uh four so at this point some people would just make chaos ruler but just make Baguska here, put in defense, boom. One card skill drain. That is more or less the best you can do with Zombie World. Unironically, there is no combo stronger than that that you can do in Zombie World. Like, as long as we're considering the cards peer, it, that, that, that's just what we're stuck with. And in terms of one card combos, there's 100% definitely no way you could do anything better. 
some might argue like before you could high roll with chaos ruler now chaos ruler doesn't exist out of the picture so none none of that please okay so yeah what can we do from here well surprisingly not that much i guess So I guess one interesting thing at least is that Felgrand is actually a light, so if we have a level 2 monster of any kind with Felgrand, that just makes uh, Chaos Angel with light and dark. So it's just a level 2 dark tuner, which you could run plenty of those, like Plague Spreader works, Shinobi Necro, if you can banish it, that works fine. So that that's interesting I guess. But in terms of end board, like, you would struggle, like, extremely struggle to end on anything more than just Doom King with Zombie World. And th this makes the deck susceptible to, like, a bajillion different things. My opponent is called by the grave, we're done. If my opponent has Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, we are done. If my opponent has Gamma, we are done. If my opponent has any form of back row removal, like, Evenly, Duster, Lightning Storm, MST to remove my zombie world then we are done essentially in zombie world we're, we're screwed in all of those situations ghost spell screwed bd crow screwed a single bestial screwed the, the, the list goes on and on it's actually absurd infinite impermanence screwed effect failure screwed there's just nothing maxi well we're actually not that bad against maxi at least it's just interesting in how in the sense that we're, we're not that bad against maxi because like our, our deck doesn't really summon anymore because it, there's just nothing to summon at this point so hmm. all right i guess if you brought back hulk though there, there's a lot i could do with hulk so then uh hulk actually does an insane amount for zombie world so yeah Actually, I have Hulk bookmarks still, I think, so let's just go and Hulk. So what Hulk can do for us is, if we special summon Hulk, it only requires, of course, any uh, tuner and then a anything. Do doesn't matter. So if we go ahead and send Destrudo off of, for example, uh, Dark Greffer, and also send Banshee off of Dark Griffer, then we can Chris run Helky Fibrax to summon Glow Up Bloom, and then we can Glow Up Bloom effect in the graveyard when we link off for stuff into uh, Doom King, and then we can even go ahead and make Vampire Sucker to get a draw the next turn. So that is fine, but the most common thing you would do is make Degda with like uh, Glow Up Bloom and one other monster, and then you have Hulk plus Degda, which is just combo. So that goes into Baron plus Scythe block, and we can sub special summon back Doom King the next turn, and that is pretty strong. Just in general. So yeah, that is a uh, two card combo, I believe, with uh, Dark Greffer. J just solo Dark Greffer, we can do that. So we can't Hulk Degda, I I don't think, but we can still do a. Uh, Hulk plus Doom King. So Hulk with Vampire Sucker essentially, right? So what we do is we link off Blow Bloom with Link Rebo and then this summons Doom King and then we have two bodies so we can link off uh, Doom King and the uh, Link Rebo and that makes Vampire Sucker and that nets us like a draw or two like on the spot. So we can draw into some hand traps for our, our opponent which is Nice, I guess. So, yeah. If we had Hulk, it opens up a lot of options. But alas, we do not have Christron Hulk Key Fibrax. So, yeah. Just pain, suffering, and all that. The uh, combo, I believe, that we can do, though, is pretty complicated if I can't remember it correctly so it's like so with Dark Greffer and Danger Nessie we special summon Dark Greffer uh, discarding Danger Nessie then we can uh, 
send in this case we send uh i think it was zephros so then we can zephros return jackalope which well actually no wait is it jackalope no i think it might be suchinoko then or is it what what is it well i mean i'm just tired maybe that wasn't the play so combo lines takes takes me a while to remember but because i haven't done it in so long so the idea is dark Riffer, and then we send i think it was zephros or destrudo here not entirely sure and then we uh discard nessie add jackalope special summon mothman and if we special summon mothman then we can uh send oh wait i remember now okay i got the line down okay so special summon dark refer discard nessie and then we want to uh special summon a guy right let's see so we can jackalope for uh suchinoko and that would be fine so we special summon suchinoko the card we send here is zephros we return suchinoko to the hand so now we have level four and four so we then make dugaris dugaris effect special summon back uh, dark greffer dark greffer uh effect to send straight up oh right no 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 that's not right so actually it's uh dark refer effects and danger nessie we do the same stuff summon mothman again we send Istrudo. then we zephros summon or not zephros we don't zephros here we do garis summon back dark refer and then we uh would use Distrudo effect targeting dark refer and then we use uh Dugaris plus our copy of uh, Distrudo to make Crystron Helky Vibrex. Halk summons uh, Bloom. We link off Bloom uh, for uh, our copy of Link Rebo. And then we add Doom King to the hand. And then we send Doom King off of Dark Riffer's effect. And then we send Banshee. And now we have Zombie World uh, here. Uh, able to be resolved, and then we can link off uh, Dark Refer and uh, our copy of Link Rebo for like a Vampire Sucker or something, because we are now going to be zombie locked after resolving Bloom. So, uh, yeah, that was the line. So it's actually complicated to for to like think about, but yeah. How long did that take me to remember? Damn. Well, whatever. So that's like one of the primary lines. And noticeably, we didn't even normal summon yet. So if we did normal summon, like literally anything, we can just make Dagda instead. And then do like send Doom King and uh, Banshee to the graveyard and then activate Zombie World. So that, that just works. So. To break down what makes a zombie world deck, a zombie world deck essentially we just need, at the very least, we need Banshee plus Doom King. So if we see it being necessary, we can remove copies of Gozuki and Mezuki. So the primary thing you really struggle with is how do I banish Changshi is what I'm thinking of right now. So Changshi the Spirit Out, how, how do we banish this card? Well. The only card that, well, you have only like two cards that would reasonably banish this that are like uh, somewhat accessible. Like, so you don't have to just hard open them. Like, for example, uh, Zombie Reborn works, right? But uh, aside from just having to run Garnets, you need to run like multiple copies of Zombie Reborn because you need to see it in hand. And that's just messy and really annoying. And it's just, yeah, not, not great to have to open. Uh, card for your combo like that so uh of course uh zombie reborn is also not searchable unlike monsters which you could search with like a small world so idea is to uh send Chengchi to the graveyard and then you would uh goziki effect to uh banish Chengchi. but that also requires you to have another zombie monster in hand which is awkward and then 
There is also Doom King, Banish, Changshi. So these are like some ideas to like if we're just going with mostly the zombie world cards. It's just like these two. These are your two options to banish Changshi. And then Changshi still needs a uh, monster, like a zombie monster in the graveyard to banish. So uh, a bit awkward, but all right. The best target, of course, for Changchi to banish is Al Gol. So Mazera Al Gol has this lovely effect where, when it gets banished from uh, the hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card. So if you were to repeatedly do that, you know, Changchi puts itself back into the deck. So you can just keep using Changchi banish Al Gol, and also Al Gol has a uh, protection effect. So when your zombie monster would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you're just good. So yeah, that, that's a vibe. And yeah. So the primary issue here is that we just need a good way to get your zombie cards to do what uh, you want. So. Essentially what it boils down to is this, like if you can make Beatrice, you can technically also do zombie wolf combo, so if we were to Beatrice, like just make Beatrice, Beatrice can send uh, Banshee and then Doom King and then it, essentially any deck that can make Beatrice can technically pull off a bit of a zombie world combo. So this is only like three cards, so you would only need a, one copy of Banshee, one of Doom King, and then one of zombie world, and then some way to put two level 6 monsters on the field. So the best candidate that can run zombie world cards right now is probably just Vendred. Vendred can uh, make Beatrice as access to level 6 monsters. So that, that's cool. Then let, let me read this. Do, do, do. If this ritual summon card is sent to the graveyard. Does this count if I detach it off of Beatrice? No clue. I, I, I think I heard actually yes when I asked the Ventured player last. So, uh, we'll, we'll chalk this down as a maybe. So, if you could do that with like, and you summon like uh, a copy of like Scar of the Ventured, then, then maybe you can do some stuff. Make it like Beatrice, and then Zombie World stuff. Not 100% sure what Vendred can do with Zombie World, though. I haven't explored that enough, personally, so we're still in, like, kind of, kind of a question mark kind of testing phase, like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's cracked, so need to experiment with that more, then. But, uh, yeah. The primary uh, thing that sucks is that well, you do have Foolish Burial, but your Foolish Burials don't do anything because your cards suck, essentially. Like, if you if I were to Foolish Burial, for example, I don't know. Let's say... I guess... Uh, one of the Tri Brigade monsters? That, then that's just full combo, right? Well, it's not a full combo. You essentially still have a play of some sort, right? So... Let's say, I don't know, a Foolish Burial with just Foolish Burial, so not even Fractal. So we just Foolish Burial, uh, I, I, I believe it was like Kit, Nerval, N not sure which one. I think it was like Kit, then Nerval. I, I don't remember which one does which exactly, and then you just add like Keras or Kit or something, that's a super matter. Normal summon one of them, and then you can summon Double Dragon Lords at least, right? So, you got that going for you. And... I think you might be able to do a bit more. I, I'm just not like super knowledgeable about Tri Brigade right now. I'd have to like look into them. It's been a while, like a long while since I've played against actual just Tri Brigade, so not sure. But it, you have something there, right? And I mean, if you just consider that, that that was one card. So if you have two cards, you can do a whole lot more. Now, if we have two cards with Zombie World, what can we do? Well, you better hope they're like Uni Zombie plus Banshee or Uni Zombie plus Doom King because no other combination is going to do anything. So if we have like, for example, Doom King plus, uh, not, not Doom King actually, so 
Well, actually, yeah, I guess. So Doom King plus Gozuki doesn't do anything. Uh, Uni Zombie plus Changshi is not going to do a whole lot either. And then we have like Uni Zombie plus Gozuki. This does not do a whole lot. Uh, Mezuki plus Uni Zombie. That doesn't do a whole lot either. So that that sucks. And you don't have any good synchros to go into, actually, so pretty awkward. If we have like Immortal, though, d does that change things? Maybe a little. But not, not by much, actually. So pretty awkward, just in general. So I can make some end boards with this, but it's pretty far away from consistent right now. So that's unfortunate. So here we don't have a high level dark with dark refers, so that's unfortunate. But I guess we could set our one copy of Shade Brigandine and try to high roll with Tsuchinoko. So let's see. Let's say three. So one, two, three. Doesn't matter which one it discards here. Best discard it could do is Banshee, but. We want it to draw and hopefully not hit itself so now we have jackalope and let's say jackalope hits i don't know dark effort so what, what what do we have here then we, we have uni zombie with banshee in the graveyard and then two level three monsters and then shade brigandine which is essentially a level four monster here what can we do here with zombie world so we essentially have four monsters and then Zombie Worlds, the namesake of the deck here. So that doesn't do a whole lot. But if we actually hit Banshee, I think the play is not to activate Jackalo so that we can actually summon Dark Greffer here. That, that's probably the better play. So we probably instantly try to special summon Shade Brigandine, I guess, to adjust its level, which should be fine. So I guess we could go for that. And then we send Mezuki to bring back Dark Greffer. And then Dark Greffer effect to send something. And then we try to combo from there, probably. That, that's probably the play. And then we have combo because these two together are really good. And then the Blood Bloom saves us from having to send Doom King. So we just need to send uh, Zombie World. And that will work. Okay. So if we send. Uh, Blow up Bloom with uh, Banshee. We can actually go like Chain Link 1, Bloom, Chain Link 2, Banshee, and then this will allow us to actually special summon with Bloom. And that's kind of nice, I guess. So that works for later. And then we just have this random Mezuki, which we'll probably normal summon sometime in our combo. And then here. A completely unplayable hand. So another small issue you might notice with this deck is we have to run a lot of high level monsters like just randomly. So like if we threw in El Gol, we would have like El Gol and maybe Jack of Bullen. So like Doom King, Changshi, El Gol. All of those are like strictly bricks if we don't have like a really good playable card. So if we just open like Banshee or Mizuki's they don't do anything because we can't get these guys out of our hand. So this is actually somewhat of an issue with Zombie World as well, where you can't get stuff out of your hand. Like, let's say I open five zombie cards, right? So we have like Uni Zombie, Gozuki, two Mizuki, not hard ones per turn, like Banshee. I have one normal summon, so I will normal summon Uni Zombie. Uni Zombie can discard one card from my hand. And then Gozuki can special summon one zombie monster from my uh, hand as well. So, mathematically speaking, I still have two zombie cards that are just hard stuck in my hand that I cannot get out of there. And there's no way for me to do so. Nothing in my extra deck unless I were to do something weird. So that, that this is actually a point where, a, a pain point where Hulk actually helped out because you could uh, Hulk to summon uh, Jet Synchron, and then Jet Synchron can uh, just send a card from your uh, hand to the graveyard. So, notably, like your extra Mezukis 
that might be stuck in your hand because you just don't have enough ways to get them out of your hand. Like, just straight up. That's kind of messed up, but... Yeah, the dangers also can somewhat help, but they're RNG, so sometimes they just don't help. But, like, if you high roll really well, you, you can hit, for example, like, I don't know, let's say, like, a Gozuki, and then... You just top deck, I don't know, a Mezuki or something, and then you just bash that. Or you can just hit, like, a Mezuki and just get, like, your Danger Nessie on field, and then draw into something else, like, I don't know, Ash Blossom Joe Spring. So that's a really good high roll, I guess. Like, it's just a draw one, so that would work, I guess. And we just chill in. So, yeah, th this deck has a lot of, like, pain points right now. And th the best tech I have found is just essentially just Dark Griff or Danger Nessie for the time being. And w we're still working on more, so... I, I don't know exactly what else we can do with this, but yeah. This deck, just a, a bit of a pain to play, so let's back out for the time being. So, alright, head back. So let's go to our favorite solo gate, of course. So, the danger files. And let's uh, swap our decks. So, this list is actually not entirely that bad. You just consider it for like going first because your engine is really bad going second as well because it's so inefficient. And you have like no ways to deal with any back row cards like with your zombies. So let's see what we get here. Time to high roll. Let's see if we high roll good. Hmm, okay. One more. It's alright. So, not looking great here. So, for the time being, I actually did put Bardiche, so we, we have that going for us, I guess. And we're out of targets, actually, at this point. Almost. So, we have this. Okay. This is a lot of bodies. So, we have that going for us. Okay. So here we will just go reveal 3 or 4. I think 3 is better here, so we'll go with that. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow like this. We could have done this earlier. If I was actually playing ranked, I would probably do this earlier, right? Would we? Actually, no. Th this is a fine point. Uh, that was our 5th summon, I believe. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow, right? Yeah, th that's fine. So the, this list plays around Nib, actually, rare, but yes, we do do that, in fact. So now let's do uh, maybe Zephyros. I'm not sure if we do do Zephyros effect. I guess we kind of have to. Then we'll link off if we need to. So, do I have any Dark Link 2s that are generic? No, we don't have IP in this list. Okay, so Danger Nessie effect. Unlucky. But it still guarantees us a body, so let's go Jackalope now. So, maybe we can high roll. Okay, we finally hit the Banshee, not bad. So, that doesn't do a whole lot for us, and then we have Tsuchinoko as well. Okay. So, Curious then becomes an option because we have Warrior, Beast, and all this. So we'll just do this, I guess. Maybe we can mill something good here, we'll see. We already have this, so... I don't really want to mill anything in particular. So let, let's just go Doom King and hope we don't mill our copies of Zombie World. But actually, we can play around it by doing this. So yeah, we'll do this, actually. Yeah, that works. So, we can't mill both copies of our zombie world. Oh, it did mill zombie world. 
And it milled silent boots, that's so bad. Well sure then. We'll just grab this. This triggers this. And while we're at it, we'll also do uh, this. To summon back Ancient Cloak. And we have no more Fam Knights cards in our deck for the time being. These are the ratios I'm working with right now, so... Actually, we do have one more. But we wouldn't really have that, that much to do here. So, I guess... It's alright if we banish them, shouldn't matter too much. So let's do this. Special summon this. Then let's activate Tsuchinoko. Tsuchinoko just summons itself. Now we have levels 3, 3, 3, 4. Not, not much we can do there, actually. If we were playing Levier, we would have something. And we can technically summon Chaos Angel, which is interesting, but I don't see a good point or a good reason to do that. So we'll just go Apollosa like this. One, uh, two, three, four. Uh, no, actually, I changed my mind. Let's do, I guess, Vampire Sucker then. Maybe. How, how do we do this without making me pissed? Damn. There's no super good way to go about this, I guess, because we just randomly milled cards I didn't want milled. Well, it happens to the best of us, I guess, so we'll, we'll just go like this for the time being. Sucker. And, and then I guess we'll just go over this. So, the send board, it, it's all right. Discounting the fact that I had all engine cards, right? So, yeah, whatever, I guess. We'll draw one here. So, here we have one monster negate, uh, one monster negate here, and then two monster negates here, so the four. Four monster negates. Ooh, you need zombie. That's alright. Torn scales, huh? Suchinoko effect. Well, the downside for the Bamboos and Gossip Shadow is both players draw one card, but it's not that bad of a downside since you also draw and it's not just your opponent. So we have that going for us, I guess, and they, they have nothing else. Hmm. Cool. And then here we just don't have much of anything. Well, we can do this, I guess, if we wanted to. And then let's banish this card face down. So, right now, we're not super crazy about this, obviously. We drew Driver, Return, okay. But what's interesting about this Baboozling Gossip Shadow is it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, so that, that's always kind of fun. So let's do this, change position. And then let's send a guy. Who do we have in the graveyard? Okay, so what level are we going for here? We shouldn't have put Mad Muller in because I didn't put in the synchros for it. So, that, that's a bit awkward. I guess we have just Changshi. Uh, we cannot banish Changshi right now though. So, th there's literally zero ways for me to banish Changshi, so no point in sending Changshi. I guess there's just Sen Mezuki. And there's not much else. Let's do uh, Sen Mezuki again. Because there's literally not much else to do. There's just Sen Banshee, I guess. Because uh, Banshee is uh, just good in general for stuff and things. We could also bring back Curious, technically, if we want to use Curious effect again. Uh, specifically, the Mill 3 effect, I guess. That doesn't do a whole lot for us. Level 7, 6... 
We don't have level 8 here, so a bit awkward. We don't have level 6. So to do 7, we would need level uh, 5, which we don't have either. Not a whole lot we can summon back here that does a lot for us, actually. So that's giga awkward. This is just kind of how it goes, though, I guess. So I guess we'll just summon back Uni Zombie. Like, shouldn't matter a whole lot, I guess. Do we have lethal? No, we don't. Cool. So if we want to adjust their levels, I, I couldn't really adjust them in any good meaningful way because I, I didn't have any other monsters with levels, right? Actually, I think I could have adjusted my opponent's monsters level so we have we would have eight plus two here. So that's like a slight mislay in that in that sense. So that this deck still has its complexities, I guess, but it's still just rough, super rough to play here. So I guess we'll just do this for the time being. And I think this is just game if we do it this way. Yeah, okay. Cool. So like this. Send Bloom. We are zombie locked, but this is fine. Uh, special summon second Doom King. And... Yeah. Cool. Deck finds lethal, like, pretty easily, I guess, at least, here. So, yeah. We can do another test hand, and I, I doubt we get a hand as good as that. Even though there are definitely better hands, the, the thing I'm really lacking on right now is, like, how efficient the extra deck is, so I haven't finished working on that, clearly. So, let's see what can we high roll. Ooh, that, that is the best discard we had. So, okay, Gozuki. So here, we have what's called Depression, so I think we have to actually do it this way. So do this. I think I sequenced this wrong. Yeah, Ash Blossom, whatever, that's alright. Uh, Banshee. Uh, yeah, that's good, actually. So, here we do this. Uh, we want to adjust the level here. And then we want to... Mizuki. Uh, then... We cry, because I think I... Did I send the wrong one? No, I didn't. It's just about the same. If We could have sent Changshi here, but it's not even that good. It's just... Another pain point. Uh, uni zombie. Do we need uni zombies level for anything? Four, six, maybe we'll try. So here we don't activate this yet. Oh no, never mind. We were fine. Okay. So yeah, okay. Now here is where we send Chang Shi because we want to actually use this effect. Does it matter that we use this effect though? I guess it makes it feel, like, 1% less bad. So now we we send this, though. No, wait, if we make this, we don't even have a tuner to summon back. So that's not great. So, I guess, for the time being, this... We can try, look, like, digging a bit more. We, have, we run some dangers here, and we can drop the Banshee as well if we need to, but we, we have uni zombie to ditch here, which is fine. Okay. So now we have a better banish target, but I mean, we actually already had Ash Blossom, which I wasn't thinking about. So banish this, special summon this, effect of this, to banish. Doesn't really matter. It's better to keep Gozuki in the graveyard than not, so whatever. Then we have Chengxi effect. I guess we can send whoever. Uh, we can do Mad Mauler if we want to try to go into a mortal. Mortal is weird to get into from here. 
It's pretty safe to just send Doom King though, so we'll just send Doom King. And then from here, let's do... Baron is okay. So we'll just do Baron, I guess. So now, now we don't have any good things to link these guys off into, which is unfortunate. So let's do uh, Jackalope. Jackalope should always hit something decent. Okay. We did Nessie. There was a risk. So we, we never do Nessie in that case. And then we'll just add another copy of Tsuchinoko. Whatever. We could have done Jackalope again, actually. I just wasn't thinking. Well, whatever. Now we have Curious. So one, two, three. And Changshi is back in deck, I believe. So let's see if we can mill good. I want to high roll here, probably. I'm not sure 100% if I want to. If I first saw Curious, because I actually didn't see Curious as a line I could do, because I'm just dumb, I guess. Curious was 100% a, a thing we could do, so. What could we have sent instead? I guess we could have sent like a Mezuki and then this would have been less painful. We can right now bloom for Changshi. But that, that that's not that great. Changshi doesn't do anything right now. If we had Al Gold Mazera, I would just send that in a heartbeat. So right now I don't think there's anything super crazy we can send. So I'll just send this. And hope we don't mill Fog Blade. That's about it. Oh. That went better than expected. Okay. So we still have Shade Brigandine if we want to do that, actually. So let's grab this then instead. This was a bit better than expected. So we can do this. Dissolve this. We could have high rolled more if I added uh, Jackalope, but that's just a small misplay by me, I guess. Uh, then we do this, target this, and we have our stuff. Okay, so if we want, we can go Synchro 8. Did we mill a 2? No, we did not. So then we have Omega. We have Don Dragster, which are all options, but I, I don't really want to do those options, so we'll go like this. We'll one, two. So, Redoer. We are one guy short because I trolled. Uh, so we lose the Vampire Sucker draw, I guess, so whatever. So we'll just go like this, and we'll put them all in attack to save time because we will, uh... Actually, yeah, we, we only lose our draw phase, never mind, we're good. Okay. And if we want, we can just, like, destroy Tsuchinoko, I guess. Uh, effect of this. So this end board is a little bit better, but keep in mind, we're drawing, like, a lot of engine here, so... That is awkward still. So, do this. So, this is a quick effect on uh, Redoer. So, we can, whenever we want, essentially, trigger our copy of Doom King. Okay, our opponent does nothing. Alright. So, in the end phase, Redoer effect. Uh, we'll, we'll just do it this way, so Distributor, we'll, we'll lose that effect, but that's okay, I guess, right? Wait, why didn't this trigger? Did I accidentally click this? Oh, well, I guess I trolled. Okay. I, I think I accidentally right-clicked. I wasn't paying full attention, but whatever. 
Doom King effect. We should have done that last turn. But whatever. I guess we'll do it now. Banish Armageddon Knight. Oh hey. A lawyer draw. So we skipped our draw phase, but we do some drawing anyway, so I mean, it, it balances out, I guess. We draw anything cool? I mean, that, that works, I guess, enough. Th this is a monster negate if we need it to be one, and we just have like a bajillion things. Okay. Rota. Wow, that's funny. Is that the only Rota target in the deck? Oh, okay. So essentially, two monster negates, Omni negate, and then we had... Uh, well, actually, we could have also made Bamboozling Gossip Shadow with... Uh, if we added uh, Jackalope as well, actually, now that I think about it. So even more of a misplay. So we could have had uh, four monster negates, and then banish one monster, and then Omni negate, and then redo her effect. So just spin a card back, put it on top of your deck. So, yeah, I mean, my, my deck functions, like, alright, but right now we're just simply high rolling. If we don't high roll, we, we can't really get anything done, so I, I don't like that. Also, the diversity of our interactions is really bad. It's all monster-based, so if we get, if we go second against, like, back row, not playable, for example. Just not really doable. So against back row, we're struggling, like, just in every context. So, yeah, not not doing the best, so, yeah. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today, and I guess we'll actually, well, I mean, I was too focused on explaining the deck today, so. Uh, next time, I guess, we'll actually try to build a better version of, like, a Zombie World deck, so. This version is alright, but this is heavily nerfed and unoptimized, because all of these ratios you see now are mostly for, like, a Hulk version, and we don't run like Chengxi or Waller in that version either, so they won't really break us. But I mean, the the upside of Chengxi is that we can send it off of Dark Raffer, and, and it's just better off in the graveyard, anyways. Chengxi, anyways. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.